Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Now we are going to discuss about the product action recognition from arbitrary views using transferable dictionary learning. Now we are going to discuss about the abstract for the process. The system presents a coherent discriminative framework for simultaneously tracking multiple persons and estimating their collaborative activities. Instead of treating the two problems separately, our model is grounded in the institutions that a strong correlation exists between a person motion activity and then the motion and activity of the other neighbor people. Hence, instead of directly linking the solutions to these two problems, we introduced a hierarchy of activity types that creates a natural progression that leads from a specific person's motions to the activity of the group as a whole. Hence, in this process, we proposed a single person's tracking and then activity recognition system. In the tracking process, we just bounded the region of interest, that is the person's regions, and then in the activity persons, it will be subdivided as and two things. First one is the feature extraction and then the classification. In this feature extraction, the activity data is extracted from the person and then classifying by using the appropriate classifiers. Hence, this process is more efficient than the other existing process. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram for the process. This is the overall working flow for the process. At first, the first module is the input video. The input video is taken from the dataset. The dataset is the folder which consists of the several videos. After getting any one video from the dataset, the frame conversion will be carried out in the pre-processing step. The frame conversion is nothing but to convert the video into a sequence of images. After the frame conversions, the frame details like the number of frames, hence the size of the frames will be displayed. After the frame detail, the resized will be carried out. In this resized step, each and every frames present in the video will be resized into an aspect ratio. For example, if the input video have the high resolution means it will be downscaling, then the image will be resized into an aspect ratio or otherwise it will be the low resolution means it will be upscaling the resolutions into an aspect ratio. After the resize, the filtering is done by using the appropriate filtering method to remove the noises from the images. After the filtering, the background subtraction will be carried out. In this background subtraction, the foreground region will be extracted and then the other backgrounds will be eliminated. Here the foreground is considered as in the human object. After the background subtraction, the tracking will be carried out. In this tracking process, the human region will be tracked by using the bounding box and then the other region will be neglected. After the tracking, the feature extraction will be carried out. Hence, in this feature extraction method, the data of the activity as well as the posture of the human will be extracted. After the extraction of these features, the analyze the activity will be processed by the appropriate classification system. After the classification, the results will be displayed the corresponding activity. Now we are going to discuss the initial running procedure for the process. At first open the MATLAB 2015B and change the current directory. If you want to execute the file means, just right click in the main.m file and select the option run. Now the dataset folder was open. In that dataset, you can see the several videos in that dataset folder. Now select any one video from the dataset. After the selection of the any one video from the dataset, the corresponding video will be processed. Figure 1 shows the input video which I have taken from the dataset. Now the figure 2 shows the resized frames, that is the frame conversion. After the frame conversion, figure 3 shows the resized frames and then the background subtracted frames is shown in the figure 5. Now the foreground is extraction and then the other backgrounds will be eliminated. After the 
foreground extraction and background elimination the bounding box segmentation will be carried out it will take some time after the bounding box extraction now the colored region of the specific region of interest will be shown here and then the other regions will be neglected now the result of the classification will be shown in the message box as well as the performance will be displayed now we will go through the results one by one now figure 1 shows the input image video which i have taken from the data set after playing this video the frame conversion will be carried out hence the total number of present in the video is the 50 after the frame conversion the frame resize will be carried out hence in the frame resize the frame will be resized into an aspect ratio of 256 crash 256 after the frame resize the background subtraction will be carried out in this background subtraction the background regions will be eliminated hence it is shown in the black color region and then the foreground region will be extracted this is shown in the white regions that is the binary format now the tracking will be carried out in the tracking process the person is tracked by using the bounding box extraction method after the tracking the colored region of interest will be shown in the sphere after that the classification is done hence the classified result of the activity will be shown in the message box as an boxing after that the performance will be evaluated hence the bar chart for the performance of accuracy will be displayed in this figure then finally those values will be plotted as an table format thanks for watching this video